It's just a move. Ah! Ah! Jacuzzi down a little. And I ordered a lemonade. Oh, Hey guys, it's me Flo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a rebranding for chocolate bars and candy bars and I'm super excited about this. As you may or may not know, I am a big lover of sweets. As maybe you can tell from all these chocolate and candy wrappers, I love my sweets. So let's get into it. And so the search begins. I was looking through this article and I was looking at all the different kinds of candies and chocolates that people were obsessed with within each decade and I thought it was interesting. Yum, chocolate. And yeah, I found some interesting things. Tootsie Rolls, 1945. Tootsie Rolls. Like, I guess they did not have much options because I kinda, I kinda, mm, yeah, I kinda hate Tootsie Rolls. I don't really know many people that like Tootsie Rolls, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, comment below if you like Tootsie Rolls and please tell me why because uh, they are unique but in a in a way that, mm, just, no, <laughs> not for me. And ooh, M&M's, 1948 M&M's, yum. I can, I'm down. But I'm gonna start blabbing so we can get to this tutorial because we're gonna be redesigning three of the logos. Which one is it gonna be? All right, so I've come to decide and looking at all the different chocolate bars and candy bars, I've decided that I want to choose one of my favorites to rebrand their logo and it's Reese's. And I had to get a Reese's, I don't know if it's a bar, I guess Reese's Cups to, you know, really get into the whole vibe of Reese's and I, I mean, I really gotta taste the product to know how I'm gonna go about rebranding and, you know, redoing the logo, right? I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it's just an excuse for me to have some Reese's, but I'm excited and let's get to some brainstorming. Now, I did some research on Reese's. I checked out their website, their packaging, their history and all of that. And one thing that stood out to me was their orange is all over the website. That's something that stuck out to me, this orange and the brown, so I may keep those colors. An interesting thing that I learned was that their orange packaging is actually trademarked, so no one else can use it. Just an interesting, fun, bite-sized fact. Now, let's get into the sketching. Now I'm done brainstorming, I just took a photo of my brainstorming for potential new logo ideas and I plopped it into an illustrator file and I'm thinking of going with a more of a kind of fun type of logo, something that celebrates Reese's and also takes into consideration the sweet and salty kind of elements and 
add a little bit more of a fun twist to it while commemorating their origins as well. Alright, time to get brainstorming and as you can tell, I've already tried the product, like I said, you guys should try the product, you know, to get a feel of it and I've clearly had so much already, I've mostly had the reds, as you can see. Of course, I already finished it, so <laughs> there you go. That's sweet. Let's get to brainstorming. 